tape. I'm tripping, hold on. And I need some scissors. I had done forgot the damn scissors. What's going on, nation? This is gonna be a short, short, short video, man. I ain't really doing much regular day. Working with some uh, poly bags or whatever. It's a hundred of these, so. I can stamp them with some stickers or decals or whatever you want to call it from the vinyl cutter. This is how I print mine because I'm not commercial printer, the biggest printer in the world. I don't got the best, uh, you know, equipment in the world, a $10,000 printer that can print these straight out or whatever it is I need. I don't know, maybe I'm just missing something. It could be another way cheaper, but, or easier. But yeah, I let these run. As y'all can see, these are gonna go on some poly bags and it's black and white ones. So I just get a little transfer tape. Y'all probably can't really see it because I'm in here where the, uh, where we gonna film the podcast in the living room area or whatever, but yeah, so these are the new mic and shit. It's already set up. I did a little clip setting it up. I might, I mean, unboxing and setting it up. I might throw that in there and just speed through it, let y'all see when I was cracking it open and all of that. But yeah, man, we're working on the podcast too, as y'all can see. Meanwhile, this don't have nothing to do with nothing. We still waiting on the cameras and the setup. And that's why this video is gonna be super short too, cause I'm still filming from my phone right now, but it's Friday. My new Canon come today, my camera come today. UPS is out for delivery right now, so you know how I am. I'm, I'm waiting. As soon as they say it's there, I ain't gonna lie, I'm going home early today. I'm not gonna be in the shop all day. So I'm finishing all my jobs early. So this is the first one on the list. Run through this, shouldn't take no time, maybe about an hour. And then, I don't know, I gotta jump to something else or whatever. I'm looking around like it's somebody I'm looking for, but this really was just to update y'all, let y'all know this is gonna be like one of the last videos filmed mainly or solely with my cam uh, phone camera. I'm gonna be on the new camera soon, hopefully, once I open it, do a little unboxing and review and see how it work out. And then, shit, be jumping into the new camera. And then sometimes I still run my phone when I don't need it in the video and I have different angles until I get another camera depending on what I want to go next with my next camera. So, yeah. Minus all of that, man, I'm doing some little bags today. These are the bags. We clip this down and make it the same size. Hold on. So I got me two of these. I probably won't need nothing but like two of these, maybe one more. There's a hundred of these, so the tape do get uh, kind of weak, closer to the end, and it don't be as sticky, so it won't pick up all the letters. And then this dude got, hold on, let me grab the camera and show y'all what it looked like up close. Okay, so this is my little transfer tape cut. Same exact size this if I turn it. I should have made this a little bigger. Hold on. <clears throat> Damn. Well, I'll make another one. But basically, you don't want these little letters to not stick to the tape. And you have to keep getting them one by one. So I'm going to cut like three, four pieces of tape. And then that way I ain't got to cut no more. And then that'll be enough to run through these whole hundred. First off, let's go and do at least one right quick. Yeah, man. And then, of course, y'all know the squeegee. I like the ones with the smooth uh, little Velcro, I guess, or whatever you want to call it on the end and on the side. And then, you know, the regular one. I just feel like when you use that side first and then come back over with the hard side or the regular side, it's better. Take that up. Boom. That's one. This don't take no time, so that's one. Now I'm gonna have to create some space for this because these bags are bigger than the usual ones. Damn, I ain't realized they were this big. Okay, hold up. And she said red or white, so I just did red and white. She might want some, I mean, she said red with black or white on it. So I did some white and some black. And this chair is making it loud of fucking up. Damn, I could just put this on here. I mean, I eyeball them because she need them kind of quick. So it ain't, and this, the, the way this design is, it's kind of easy to center it where it ain't really off. And I'm just so used to doing them. I've been doing these so long. It's like this, it's natural to me now. But I mean, if you want to pull out a ruler, you can get your ruler and measure each side and do all of that. But this person, they already know that I'm good with the eyeball game. And 
you want to take me there home. So, stick like that. Boom, 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 boom. Feel that off. Feel that off. And this is actually doing better than last time. They must have updated the vinyl because sometimes a letter would usually pop up and I have to like press it down. But you still want to press it down to make sure it's on there. Like that. This bag had a, a hole in it, so it don't got nothing to do with me. As y'all see, I'm recording. I didn't do nothing to the bag. I just took straight the plastic. Got like a little gas in it. But yeah, it's lit, man. And then, I don't usually fold them, but it ain't going to do nothing. That's how you know it's on there good. It ain't popping up. Everything ain't everyone. So this is how you want to, if you want to do some poly bags and you got some basic logos, nothing too, too, too detailed. Like this is actually pretty good, but basic logos that ain't going to cause you too much picking, too much work, like regular words and a, and a simple logo or something like that. And this is way you can make you some money using that vinyl, cut, using the vinyl cutter. Get you some sign vinyl. I get my sign vinyl for, uh, depends on the color and the, the type of sign vinyl, but basic, regular sign vinyl where I go, I get it for like $13 to $15 a roll. And the roll will be uh, 24 inches by 15 feet, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 24 inches by 15 feet. So off that alone, you can get a lot done. Like you can use that for so much, man. The profit is crazy. Like off for this hundred bags, this ain't even nowhere near the whole roll. Like it's probably like if anything, it probably took like let me see, it probably took like five feet of the roll. So I still have like basically ten more feet left. And that's the thing too, when you're doing it, you gotta move slow. I'm talking to y'all, so I kinda almost just messed up and threw it off. I was on the wrong side, but yeah, I kind of peaked a little line. So I ain't gonna talk y'all head off today though. This was just something simple right quick. I'm showing y'all me doing some poly bags, how to do poly bags. If you got a vinyl cutter, but you don't have a printer that can just let, like, let these run through it and do it all at one time. If you got a basic logo, something simple, just a, something that you can cut out on the vinyl cutter right quick. You can, you can cut it out. Pick it out. It don't take you too much time of your day. So the job ain't as hard and the money is worth it. Boom. You can do it like this, man. And I do one in white right quick. Hold on. I do one in white. And this chair is squeaking like hell. Y'all gonna have to deal with the squeaking though because I already done started and I'm not stopping. I don't know if y'all hear it as much as me, but. Yeah, man. Keep it lit. Let's get it. I'm just waiting on that camera. I ain't gonna lie. Waiting on that camera like a kid on Christmas, boy. Supposed to be here today. So I get to do a I'm doing that video today too. I'm not even gonna wait. So it's gonna be a, like a it's gonna be like a three video day. Cause I already got the other video editing. I mean rendering now. And then shit. I got this video I'm doing that just happened random when I'm supposed to be taking out trash. And then I got the unboxing and review video that I'm gonna have to do when I upgrade the camera. Cause I ain't had a new camera in so long. Like the fact that I'm back and I already done went ahead and Updated is lit. So this the white one. And this taking me longer just because I'm in here yapping and talking to y'all. But honestly, I'll be running through these so fast. Shit. Be done in no time. Boom. Alright, there go a white. Here go a black. So here we go. Wanna do some poly bags? You got you a vinyl cutter. Get you some vinyl. I say stick to like the basic logos, nothing too major. And yeah, oh damn, I thought I did this wrong. Man, my heart just went to racing a little bit. I was about to say, come on. It'll flip that side down though. Let me show y'all again, hold on. Yeah, so this is what they look like when they stamped up. This is the logo that she got for her company, the God Shop. I'll put a link in there so y'all can go check them out, man. Shop with them. Support the business. If y'all want to, I don't know, y'all might see this logo and think it's dope. They definitely got some dope gear though. Got a hundred of these to run through. We got a pile of. Uh, I think I'm missing two, so I'm gonna have to cut out like two more. But the pile of those podcasts on the way. You go to equipment, setup, and yeah, I ain't gonna keep talking. New camera coming today, so we're gonna film another video with the new camera and pop that on off, man. Poly bags, vinyl cutter, sign vinyl, make it happen. Untagged for free at freebeats.io.